Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I'm going to show you how I did this soft cut crease that's been trending on Chinese TikTok Douyin lately. This look was also made in partnership with my favorite Chinese beauty brand Florisys. So if you've also been obsessed with Douyin makeup looks recently, just keep watching. Okay, so today we're going to do a soft cut crease. I already did it on this eye. I haven't done a cut crease in a really long time. So I'm just concealing my eye right now. First, I'm going to dip into the Florisys Eastern Romance eyeshadow palette. This is the Pearl Edition and it is in the shade Mermaid and Moonlight. I'm going to start by taking the pink shade and then just applying it as a wash of color all over. And then we're going to deepen that using the purple shade just on the outer edges. I like this palette's color story a lot and it actually comes in a gift set. I think it'd be a really nice gift for anybody who collects makeup or just really likes pretty packaging. So once you have that built up, let's cut the crease. I'm going to take the brush that came with the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use a little bit of concealer on the smaller side of the brush. Put some concealer right where the top of your double eyelid is and then look up. It should transfer exactly to where you want the top of the crease to be and bring it down. So I'm actually going to bring the cut crease out a little bit, so right there. Usually I don't use brushes that come with makeup palettes, but this brush is really good, even though it's like a small mini one. It's really good for cutting the crease because it has that perfect shape. It's super thin and flat. And then I'm going to take this light pastel pink shade and set the crease. Next, let's dip into the Bright and Sunrise palette. I'm going to take the bright shimmery shade and then just pat it on the cut crease. Going back to the Mermaid and Moonlight palette, let's take the purple shade. And then I'm just defining the cut crease by going right on top of it. And now let's start deepening the outer corner. So I'm taking that purple shade again and then starting from the outer corner in small circles, I'm just slowly working my way into the center. Next, I'm going to take the glitter shade from the palette and then only apply it to the outer edge of the cut crease. This eyebrow pencil is really creamy, so I'm going to use it for eyeliner. Back to the Bright and Sunrise palette, I'm going to take the coralish shade and then let's blur the edge of the eyeliner out. Okay, so we're not actually going to extend the inner corner, we're just going to define it. So instead of like pulling it out, just fill in the inner corner right here. We're gonna take that to the outer corner as well. Blend that out with the purple eyeshadow. For under eye makeup, I'm gonna bring the purple down all the way down here. I'm sort of underlining where I want our under eye fat to be. And then we're gonna create a sharper shape with the concealer. So apply concealer to both sides of an angled brush like this and stamp it on where you want the under eye fat to be. I've been really into this like very clean, precise under eye makeup. Once you get to the end, take the concealer and just clean up the under eye makeup. So it's this like sort of curved shape and then clean up the eyeliner in between as well. I'm taking that shimmer again and then stamp that onto the areas you just concealed. If you want to try the manga lashes look, but you don't want to cut up the individual lashes, this is the fastest and easiest way to do it. So I got these lashes from YesStyle. They're just like spiky lashes. And then I'm just going to apply them underneath my real lashes. Curl your real lashes while you're waiting for the glue to get tacky. And then I'm going to apply it right underneath. Once you feel like the glue is completely dried down, take your eyelash curler again and curl your real lashes with the fake ones. Ta-da! Now you don't have to cut up your lashes or put them on one by one. Moving on to the face, I'm going to start by moisturizing. I feel like my skin just looks better after I replaced my primers with moisturizer. It makes my base makeup look so much better too. And then I'm just going to do what I recently started doing with my base makeup, which is apply. Apply that only to the areas you would normally apply concealer to. And then we're gonna let that sit there until it becomes a paste-like consistency. So take the rest of the product that's on the back of your hand and apply it everywhere else. And then we're gonna start blending from the outside in. Wherever you just applied product, blend that out. 
we're letting everything else dry down a little bit so it provides more coverage. So if you've ever noticed when you let concealer sit for a little bit, when it sits under your eyes or wherever you applied product, it starts drying down in that spot. So whatever you're blending out is actually just blending out the top layer that hasn't dried down yet or the outer perimeter of it so it just helps it blend in more seamlessly into your skin but in the area that you applied it it's already dried down so it provides like the maximum coverage next i'm going to use the flores's flawless jade breathable press powder on one half of my face so you can see the difference the flawless jade breathable pressed powder is talc free and was designed for oily and sensitive skin it's a very lightweight, breathable powder you can see when I swatch it. It's super finely milled. Here's a quick demo on my hand. This is great for shine control to prevent creasing and it gives you that perfect, soft, matte, silky, smooth finish. Let's apply it to this half of my face. So first the under eyes so they don't crease. Okay, so here's the difference. You can see this side has like a soft matte finish and then this side there's no creasing whereas this side I haven't set it yet so the under eye area is starting to crease. I'm going to apply it to this side now so I'm just going to blend out any of my creasing and then go in with the powder puff. You can see right away it starts giving you that soft matte blurring effect. If you prefer loose powder or just love pretty packaging, Floristis also has the Flawless Jade Breathable Setting Powder. This was also designed for oily and sensitive skin and is made with lightweight, breathable fine powders for that shine control against creasing or transferring from sweat. Next, I'm going to contour using the Floristis Eastern Beast Sculpting Makeup Palette. I know I talk about the packaging a lot for Floristis, but it's literally unmatched. It's so pretty. I'm going to start with the contour powder. It's very pigmented, so... I think I accidentally put too much on my brush. This palette has three fine pigmented matte powders, which you can use as eyeshadow or contour. And there's one shimmer shade, which if you're a fan of subtle highlighters, I think you'll really like. It gives you that luminous natural glow. Next, I'm gonna use that light matte shade and I'm going to blend it into the sides of my nose. This helps blend the nose contour in more seamlessly and just hide some pores. For blush, I'm using the Florist's Peony Rose Blush. This is in number 10. I've been really into blushes lately. I kind of want to do a video on blush placement because there's so many ways you could do it and it literally changes your entire look. I'm quite passionate about blush placement, so maybe I will do a video on that. And then recently I've been putting blush right on my cupid's bow as well, like that. Don't worry, it looks better after lipstick. Going back to the Eastern Beast Sculpting Makeup Palette, I'm gonna use the highlighter this time. It gives you like that natural glow. When I turn to the side, it doesn't have that chunky glitter look. It looks like that's just where the light hits. For lipstick, I'm gonna use the Blooming Rouge Love Lock Lipstick. Look, it has a little handle. <laughs> this is in the shade M521, yes I do. Of course, I have to show you the engraving. It always feels like I'm committing a crime when I first use these, but it must be done. It's such a pretty shade, but I'm only applying a little bit because I actually want to use another lip product. So these are the Flawless Jade Shine Liquid Lipsticks, and they sent me all of the colors, so I'm going to do swatches for you. Here are my swatches of all of the Flores' liquid lipsticks. This formula is perfect for creating the wet-looking gradient lips. I'll show you on some lip swatches. I actually want something more pinky for this look, so I'm gonna go in with the Florist's M303 lipstick. The You're the Pearl of My Eye gift box also comes with these little pearl stickers, so I'm gonna use them. I've been really into using face gems recently, so I love this. Hmm, should we put it in the center? So I figured out the pearl placement off camera and I also applied a lower mascara. I'm gonna use one of the big pieces on the outer corner. And then take a smaller piece and put it right next to it and then take smaller pieces and use them as tears that are like trickling down I think I like the asymmetrical look so I won't put another one down but I will put one on the inner section 
And then actually, I was looking at this purple eyeshadow and I kind of want to use it as blush. How about let's do the pink one on the inner section of the cheek and the purple on the outer. So it's like a gradient. I also feel like I didn't use enough of the glitter, so let's apply it. Little speckles on the cheeks. And then I'm gonna go in with the pressed powder and clean up the sides of the nose one more time. It really helps with that slimming effect. And this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching. I haven't done a cut crease in so long, but I love how this look turned out. Thank you again to Florisys for partnering with me on this video. Make sure to check out the link in my description box to shop all of their products I used today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.